Hi, I'm Mei Bai. I work at uh, Brookhaven National Lab and especially at the Relativistic Heavy Ion Collider. It's also known as a RIC. Uh, it's a collider built 10 years ago and it's a collider to collide proton to heavy ions. Right now we're doing polarized proton collisions. Polarized protons are protons that we try to keep spinning in more or less the same direction. Namely, we have to keep the polarization from the low energy up to the uh, top energy. Currently, this is a 250 GeV all the way, and uh, keep them all spinning together, um, and then colliding uh, to explore the uh, proton spin structure, which is a very exciting program and has not been very well understood like other physics uh, topics. What's very exciting about this year, in particular, polarized proton run, is we're completely in a new territory. Uh, in this case, all the protons come from AGS, alternating gradient synchrotron. We will have the beam uh, populate RIC with all the protons from AGS. At the moment, we are settled with 84 bunches in the two accelerators of RIC. So we will put in 84 bunches in each of the two accelerators. Once we've filled it, and we, uh, we fill the both, uh, both accelerators, we will start the energy ramp. And uh, we will bring all these uh, protons from the injection energy, roughly about 23 GeV, up to 250 GeV. And once we are at the top energy, we will remove the uh, separations between the two beams. So not only they show up at the same time at the detector place, but also they have no no uh, space in between means they are starting to collide with each other. And then once we are colliding each other, the operators in the uh, main control room or physicists, uh, whoever in charge, will be responsible to do a optimizing of the relative position between the two beams at the detector to maximize the collisions. Once that is done, we will tell the detector saying, look, it's ready for you guys to listen to collisions, turn on your detector, and then they start to turn it on, and then we hand the whole collisions to them to take the data. For me, it's very exciting that we're delivering the performance that Rick is designed for to collide the polarized protons uh, at this high energy, which is absolutely where the first or the only collider can do this in the world.